floating. Thank oh, heaven. Just gonna... Thanks a lot. I don't know that. How's Amanda? She's, uh... She's tired. She's a little cranky, but all systems go. Really? She even got a valentine from her... her buddy Jamie there. Valentine? Yeah, um... I got one for you. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm a spoon, but I first. Ten minutes with Amanda, and I'll get back in bed. This isn't the right time. Five minutes, Trevor. I won't breathe. Easy. Trust me. I know she's fine. I, I just want to see just one little peek. I'll be in and out in no time. Sorry, Janet. No, I can do. You, uh, you want to try? If... Okay. First thing tomorrow. You're right. I know Amanda's been through a lot. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to mow you down. No, 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 no. Just forget it. Look, go back to your room. Get some sleep. I'll be with Amanda. If anything happens, I'll, I'll, I'll come and get you. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, just a couple of minutes in case you go in and she's up and wants to say hi. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> that was my sweetheart, huh? Well, she's on her second portion of raspberry jello. I know where she gets you. What's that from? Atta girl! Way to go! Look what I got. Oh, you went to the gift shop already, huh? It's from Carrie. Tim bought it by. Really? Well, everybody's calling, all your pals. Carrie, Mrs. Mosier, the, the kids in the art class. Everybody misses their Amanda big time. Well, now I can give the good news that Amanda is going to make a complete recovery. All right. So how about visitors, huh? Can Carrie come over? How old is she? Is she 12? Almost. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Hospital rules. Only adults. Is there a grown-up you'd like to see? Rosie from Hanover East Street? <laughs> <laughs> Real people, Amanda. In fact, there's, there's somebody out there right now. Kelly, Mrs. Moshner, is it the surprise? It's somebody who's really, really cares about you. Is it somebody nice? Oh yeah, yeah. It's your, uh, it's your tea party pal. Mm, kind of tired. Shh. She only wants to stay maybe a minute. I don't feel like it. Oh. That's not time to to her. We need Amanda to stay calm. So, uh, you got a name yet for your new pal there, huh? Jojo. Jojo. Sounds good. Hi, Jojo. Look, why don't you and Jojo relax, get some shut-eye, and, uh, I'll be back, okay? Night, Daddy. Say goodnight to Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Jojo. I haven't seen Amanda yet. Trevor's in there with her. He's going to tell me if it's okay. Bet you never thought you'd see this day. Hey, never say never. Life's too full of surprises. I'll bet you never thought you'd see the day that Trevor would risk his life to save yours. Excuse me? Trevor did what? There was one person, though, who didn't believe that. Trevor said he knew, would know in his gut if you had died. And he went down there to get you. He went into a tunnel that was near collapse. And he brought you out. That's how you got here. Trevor brought you out. Rob. Hey, Jack. Hey. What? What's wrong? Oh, no, no, no. Don't freak out. It's just the man who saw him would big time. 
Oh, well, I, I'll, I'll just take a look. No, no, no. I, now's not the time. I guess I can't fight with the man who saved my life. I told Janet uh, what happened, what, what you did. How much to do about nothing? Trevor, I, I didn't just walk out of that mine. It was no biggie. Yeah, it was, it was kind of a big one. Everybody else had given up, Trevor. Hey, it was just my day, okay? Trevor, you could have been killed. Why did you do it? A man has already lost two mothers. I don't know how I'll ever thank you. Well, get back to your room before they catch you MIA. Come on, I'll walk you back. Out of the well. Well, that's what you did. Mm -mm. It was him. Thank you. No problem. Were you scared? Scared? Uh, yeah, a little. <laughs> I was scared a lot. You must be brave. Would you like to join us for breakfast, hero? Um. Jake. What? Would you like to meet Jojo? Would I like to meet Jojo? I, I think I'm going to meet Jojo. Thank you. See you later. See you. Over three, two, one. Yes! Yeah. Oh, it's over. Yeah. I'm coming along. Did she ask for me? How are you feeling, Janet? I'm dying to see her. I can't wait to get inside. Can I go in? Uh, I'll, I'll check with Trevor first. Janet's here. He's coming right out. Okay, thanks. Hey, what's up? Amanda, I hope. Is she bright and sassy and ready to talk? Nah, she's still sleeping. Oh, be quiet as a mouse. Janet, don't go in there. Why? I mean, Joe and Ruth were in there, and, and, and you've been in there. I don't breathe any louder than anybody else. Sirens don't go off when I walk. Hey, it's, that's great to see her smile. Yeah, isn't it? Is she smiling in her sleep? I, I don't get it. Jake's not a member of the hospital staff. He's, he hardly knows Amanda. Janet, Jake saved her life. Why? The, why are you stopping it from oh, going no, in? There was for the Janet listen, blockade. Listen, listen. What is it, Trevor? What do you think I'm going to do? Why, why are you trying so hard to keep me away? Yeah, look. What is it? Go ahead, say it. What, what are you trying to tell me? Amanda's processing. Are you saying she doesn't want to see me? Congratulations. Thank you. What are you two... I'm going to go get some coffee. Yeah, sure. Janet, you kept Amanda warm. You kept her alive. Amanda remembers you wrapping your coat around her. But you got to understand, she's still processing it all. Trevor, she's processing what I did to Natalie. She lived it. It's real to her. Yeah, but it's going to take some time. Time isn't going to help. You don't know that. When I was a little girl, there was this cat lady that lived up the street in this ramshackle house. My porch would be littered with kittens, and she'd cook chocolate chip cookies every other day. You ain't no cat lady. I loved kittens, and I lived for chocolate chip cookies, but it didn't matter. I wouldn't set foot on her walk. Amanda knows. Because I was afraid, as a lot of other kids were. We wouldn't go anywhere near that lady's place. Because we'd heard that, that she pushed her husband down a flight of stairs. Now, there wasn't any proof. It was just a rumor. But Amanda saw that video, and now she thinks I'm a monster. I guess I was pretty smart. Do you think? By all rights, the person that should be seeing her next is the 
person that's saved her life. She just moments said she want to see me. Maybe yes, maybe no. Sweetheart, you and I need to hash something out. We need to talk about Janet, okay? You are right, Daddy. She is really bad. She used to be bad. I don't want to be her friend anymore. Amanda, she's done so much for you. Yeah, but she's put her sister down that well. She said so herself on TV. I saw the tape. Now, is that why you didn't like her? I like her okay now. But that, that, well, that was then. Why'd you change your mind? Because she saved my life as a little girl. You never know with children, Janet. Sometimes... You and Amanda have a solid rapport. Had. Yeah, I think it's a little too soon to give up now, don't you? Hello. <coughs> Hi, Dr. Tullinor. I mean, come on, a thing like this can turn around. Erica, it was chaos here. Everybody knows the things I've done. It was bound to come out. Amanda was bound to find out. How did I think she'd react? I don't think this is over yet. Will you walk me back to my room? Why don't we wait and see what Trevor has to say about this? Huh? No, I don't want Amanda to feel pressured. Or to feel bad in any way. I want her to be happy. And if it means I never see her again. Janet. Amanda says you can come in. Is it uh, Skye's rock? So what are you waiting for? You didn't put up a fight. Amanda understands me now. She just needed time to take it all in. I hope I'm not setting her up. Amanda did ask to see her, right? After I twisted her arm. Amanda, honey. It's me, Janet. can't get around Janet beating up on her sister. Well, now, that's not really all that surprising, is it? No. No, but she has earned the right to work things out with Amanda. Well, I don't think she's going to go in there and spill the beans about being her mother. No, I, I don't either. Amanda's been through a lot. So what are you saying? Maybe this is just a little bit too soon? No, no, no. The sooner the better. I would protect... Amanda to my last breath, but you can't let hate and distrust build up forever. Janet's got a chance here to show Amanda who she really is. Let the bad seed bloom. So, how are you feeling? Okay. I hear you're gonna be good as new. Who said? Your daddy. That's great. I mean, hospitals are kind of sad. Definitely boring. I have books. Yeah, but what's even better is that it's warm and cozy in here. I mean, it's too cold outside to play. Amanda, I know I disappointed you. I disappointed myself, too. Secrets, they tear people apart. 
But I think that we can be even better friends now, Anson. Because I came clean. And that makes me a better person. And I'd still like to be your friend. Thank you for helping me out of the well. Dr. Brevin says I have to get some rest. Maybe I can sneak you in some chocolate later. Daddy says I have to thank you just once. That's all. I'll leave the goodies with you, Daddy. You don't want to see me anymore, do you? All my children brought... It's okay to be angry. I don't blame you. I just don't want you to be afraid. Because what I did to my sister, I could never do to anyone again. The doctors say so, and I say so. Amanda, if I was still a bad person, I would be in jail. I'm human. I made mistakes. I'm not telling you stuff. That was a dumb, dumb thing to do. Does your daughter know what you did? Yes. She doesn't care? She was very upset about what happened. What about now? Now I think she wishes that none of it had ever happened, and so do I. But you don't see her much. I see her when I wake up. And in my dreams. And our hearts communicate every day. I hope they always will. I don't mean to keep you up. It's just that we had so much fun. I don't want it to be over. But it all depends on you. I mean, if you want me to stay away, I will. Your happiness is all that matters to me. Goodbye. Thank you. You tried. I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. It's all my fault. Hey, I have my time. What did she say? Amanda wants me to stay away from her. She... She hasn't processed... stuff. You know, this place upsets her. She's, she's in her shell. Trevor, I upset her. She's scared of me. You can't change that. And you can't change the fact that you saved her life. She thanked me for that. You been straight since you set your mind to it? She doesn't even know I mean, all the crimes I've committed. So in years to come, when she asks about me, just tell her that, that I thought she was very special. And that I loved her very much. But don't ever tell her I'm her mother. Uh, well... Wait. She's already taken in too much. You wanted her to know. Then you told me I was selfish. You've never minded being right. A delay. I'm not talking about a delay. Amanda's made a decision. I can't be her mother. She wants me out of her life. to a 
WRCW special report threatened innocence, the continuing story of Janet Green. I'm Liza Colby. This is about the fateful, near tragic meeting of a little girl and a woman whose acts of murderous revenge rocked this community in the early 1990s. Stay tuned for scenes from the next All My Children. Amanda Dillon nearly perished. Reports indicate that the efforts of Janet Green saved Amanda from near certain death. The relationship between this little girl and Miss Green is truly remarkable, and it goes beyond the hours that they were trapped together in the well. Dillon here. Trevor. It's Jake. Listen, um... WCW is, is airing a special on Amanda's rescue, and I've seen a rough cut of it. In it, you can hear Janet pleading for me to save her daughter. Hey, when's this gonna air? It's on now. It's on right now. Oh, damn it. What? Well, Mama, this trip isn't... The notorious Janet Green imprisoned her sister here a few years ago. But by far the strangest twist of this unusual and moving... Daddy, what's wrong? What did I do? You, you, you... Sweetheart, you didn't do anything. He was talking about me. Yeah, I know, I know. You were on the news. It was pretty scary so? stuff. So I, 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 w I wanted to talk to you about it first. Make sure you're okay with it Janet before you see an instant replay. Janet put her sister in that same well. Yeah, I know, sweetheart, but you didn't put you there. You fell in. That was an accident. I don't care. Make her go away, Daddy. Well, she, she saved you, Amanda. I thought maybe we could talk about it, kick it around a little bit. I don't want to see her. Make her go away, please, Daddy. Uh, Amanda, I know you're scared. Go away. Go away, please. It's okay, Amanda. I'm leaving. Hey, Janet, what are you doing up sprinting through the halls? Janet. Amanda's gone. No, 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 she's, she's fine. She's fine, I heard on the news. Well, I thought she was lost forever. I just wanted to die. And now she's right there in the next room and she doesn't even want to see me. I can't, I just can't do it, it hurts too much. Gosh. <laughs> Is rummaging through ashes a new freaked out. You just need to give her some time to figure things out. Amanda hates me. She's afraid of me. Janet, I blew when I've heard the things you've done, and, and I'm way older than Amanda. Yeah, old enough to understand. And you gave me a second chance. And she will, too. These are precious years. I'll never get them back. Hey, you can't give up like that. We had so little time together. She went into a shell after Laurel died, and Trevor had his accident. But then she came out of it. She, she opened up to me. She trusted me. And, and she won't forget those times. She already has. When she thinks of me, she sees the things that I did to my sister. I mean, she used to believe I was the nice lady who played dress up and threw tea parties. Janet, you are. You are that lady. You're a wonderful person. I can't even understand the reasons that I did the things I did. How can I explain what's going on to Amanda? All you have to do is be there for her. Just be there, day in and day out, and, and you will show her who you are. Uh, you're that same nice lady she got to know. And not a witch out of one of her fairy tales. Don't say that. How long before she finds out about Will Cortland? Janet, you were sick then. You can't be held responsible for that. Well, I am responsible. I'm responsible for killing somebody. I should have killed myself and made Janet, don't off. say that. Listen, Amanda, one day will figure out how lucky she is to have you for a mom. Maybe it'd be best if I just went away quietly someplace. Janet, you're not a quitter. And you, you can't leave knowing that, that your daughter is here, and, and you never tried to ever what, what happened? Did, is Amanda okay? How much did she hear? Enough. The seas were in that riff about a little 
Your relationship with Amanda Dillon? No. Tell Amanda, figure out. I don't, I don't think she figured it out yet, but she's a smart kid. She's going to figure it out sooner or later. Trevor, please. Don't tell her. Wait, she's been through too much. No, thanks to Colby, it's out there. The game is up. I got to deal with it now, today, at ground zero. Hey. Oh. One more step towards my kid. It's the last step you ever take. Weatherman Normie's report is looking stormy. ABC Daytime. Get away. How do you Get sleep away. at night, Liza? Hey, you don't got no conscience, that's how. Look, I'm the one who found your daughter. Yeah. She would have died from exposure. You found my daughter, you exposed her, then you made your money. I just wanted to give her my gift. You know what you can do with that gift. I told you not to spill that story. The truth? Amanda doesn't know that Janet's her mother. And whose fault is that? Who lied to her? I got a right to protect my kid. You got a right to put her in a bubble? And I sure as hell will protect her from you. Protect, protect. And you better take her out of school, Trevor. Better make sure she never reads a newspaper or a magazine, goes to the park or has a play date. The truth is everywhere. It's in every newspaper, every magazine, especially in the memories of every townsperson, that Janet Green is a local legend. You are so unbelievably cruel. Cruel? Cruel is lying to your child. Cruel is letting her know that her mother doesn't exist. But she lives right across town. Look, you have a problem with my show, then you're the parent, turn it off. But don't ask me not to do my job. Shove your job. I'm not gonna forget this. I just came to bring this to Amanda. Please make sure she gets it. Have a good day. You know, if I were you, I would ask Maria about this. Well, why would her answer be any different this time? way to be sure is to ask I think that uh, Sky was very sure that sending me this note would stop me from marrying Dimitri. Erica, I don't even think Sky remembers what she wrote. Now, you can't trust a drunk's ramblings to make sense or be true or anything. I mean, I gotta tell you something. That day when I found her at the hunting lodge, she was so toasted, she came on to me. This guy's obsessed with you. But that doesn't explain why she wanted to stop my wedding to Dimitri. You want logic from Sky? Just let it go, okay? It was a senseless, malicious act. Edmund, look. Erica, don't marry Dimitri. Unforgivable. Maria, doesn't that make you curious? Don't you want to know how your wife is involved in all this? Does Matteo know about your parents? No, no, I, I don't want him to know either. Why? He'd understand. No, Haley, you'll just feel sorry for me. All he'd feel is what I feel, which is respect. But for what? For changing your life, for having the good sense to hook up with good people. Well, you can't underestimate dumb luck. <clears throat> Look, Haley, I'll, I'll tell Mateo, but when the, I think the time's right, okay? Fair enough. There are places where no one knows who I am or what I've done. I'm not gonna just take Amanda, take off on account of Liza Koch, as I'll be. She's too young. She's not equipped to deal with the Janet, truth. you knew I'd have to tell her sooner or later. You were the one that was preaching honesty to me. Yes, when Amanda thought I was her friend. I can't change what is. Now she thinks I'm a monster. Please, let me spend some time with her. Let me win her trust With back. all this stuff that's out there, Liza Colby is right. I don't want my kid finding out from some other kid poking her and teasing her on some playground. I've got to tell her the truth now. You're right. Can you leave out Will Cortland? Yeah. One horror at a time. Thank you. Trevor, do you believe I love Amanda with all my heart? Then please, try to get her to believe that just as you do.
Hey, Princess. You doing good? Good. Because when you're doing good, I'm doing good. Have I told you how gorgeous you are today? <laughs> well, you are. You're the most gorgeous little girl in the whole world. You're also the smartest, too. That's why we gotta talk. Daddy's gotta tell you something very important. As far as I'm concerned, that's meaningless. Janet, you're going crazy sitting out here. You, you should be in there. You should be talking to her, too. I can't. I wanna be, but... Things were different. You're still her mother. It's just a word. It's a lot more than that, and you know it. I always loved my mom, no matter what she did. Your mom. Well, there's no comparison. Once, once when we were flat broke, my mom passed a bad check. I, I was 11 years old. But she got busted. She served six months. Laura, that is a far cry from the crimes I've committed. Yeah, but, but, but what does a kid know? I mean, I, I still got teased in school. They called my mom horrible names. Man. But I still loved her. I mean, even, even if it had been ten times worse, even, even if she had been sick and... A special report from ABC News. Sweetheart, Daddy's here. I'm not going anywhere. I'll always be here, and I'll always want to know what's going on with you. But I gotta make sure this is this is gonna be okay. I've got to tell you about your mommy. My mommy's dead. I wish Laura were here. I do, sweetheart, but she's up in heaven with Natalie, and they're both watching over you. But the other lady, she's here. Amanda won't forget the fun you guys had. She felt really connected to you. Nothing can change that. It's over. Any chance to be Amanda's real mother is gone. At the end of the day, the... Amanda, I know you're confused and upset with everything that's going on here, but we got to talk about this, and you got to hear it from me. No! Sweetheart, your birth mommy, Natalie's sister, you know her. You've been friends with her. You're pals with her. You've even stood up for her. And you wanted to spend more time with her. That's right. Look at me, sweetheart. Natalie's sister. Your birth mommy. It's Janet Green. She's your mommy. No, Daddy, that lady has her own little girl. No, Amanda. You are her little girl. You're her daughter. No, stop lying. She's mean. She hurts people. She's not my mother. She's not. Oh, I hate her. I want my mommy, my real mommy. Tuned for scenes. Janet's not my mother. She's not. She's not. She's not. Oh. No, my mommy didn't have it. Uh, Janet, what are you doing? No, no, you you can't go like this. Please, just stay here and talk to me, please. 
I want my mommy, my real mommy. Sweetheart, it doesn't change anything. You're still the sweetest, bestest girl. No, around. I'm not. No, you, nothing has changed. The fact that Janet's your mommy hasn't changed anything. No, no, I'm not hearing you. Sweetheart. <sighs> Sweetheart, I know this is tough on you. And if I could change anything and make it better, I would, but it's the truth. Amanda, would you stop singing, please? Boy, do I know why you're mad. But we need to talk about it. We need to understand this. Could you just please talk to me, Amanda, please? Come on, Amanda, take the pillow away. <sighs> Sweetheart, I understand why you're upset. I'm not talking to you. Look, you want to shut things out, go ahead. I've tried to shut things out a million times in my life, but it's never worked, because the truth is always there. I mean, you can scrunch up your eyes and turn up the TV real loud and play the old rock and roll, but in the end, the truth is still there staring at you right in the face. How do I know you're telling me the truth? Darling, because I'm telling you. But you lied to me. You told me my mommy was mommy. It wasn't a lie, sweetheart. She is both Natalie and Elin Laurel were your mom. <sighs> Sometimes things get complicated. You're the biggest lie of them all. Amanda. You're right. I lied. I lied. It's a very unique situation. There's never an excuse to lie. You told me so. That's right. I did tell you that. And me not telling you about Janet was a lie. I wanted to tell you. I was just telling you. Well, I was waiting for the right time to tell you about Janet. No, I just, I guess I thought that you were too young to understand, and I never thought Janet would show up, and I thought I could wait to tell you about Janet until you were older. How do I know that you're telling me the truth now? Look at me, Amanda. Look in my eyes. Have I ever done anything to hurt you? I'm telling you the truth now. Remember when Laurel and I told you about adoption? When Mr. and Mrs. Gray were, were adopting Sam because his other mother thought it would be a better idea for Sam to have a, the best mother and father he could possibly have? Well, Janet did the same thing. Because she wanted you to be happy and have the best possible life you could have. And maybe, well, Definitely, maybe. We all lie a little bit. But we did that because we were trying to protect you and the life you were going to have. We all, we all love you. Natalie, Laurel, I love you, and Janet. Don't worry about me. No, Janet, listen to me. You don't have to do this alone. I always knew the day would come when Amanda would find out. I have nightmares about it. Trevor's handling this well. I'm, I'm glad he's the one telling her because he can get us through it. Yeah, yeah. She's really upset right now, but, but she's going to get over this. And when she when she does, she's going to realize how much she needs you. Amanda doesn't yes, need me. Yes, she does. I think I've done enough damage. I've hurt her enough. Gina, I think it's time to go. The kid likes you. No, listen to me. 
she she really likes you. She was just just starting to get to know you when everything blew up in her face. You got to give her a chance. Laura, she hates me and she always will. No, she doesn't know where she's at right now. She's confused and and you are are in no shape to deal with this right now either. That, that Liza ought to just be chained up. Liza didn't invent the Janet Green monster. No, Janet, listen. We we can go to the cafeteria. We can go anywhere you want. We can just talk. Okay. You're all dressed up for a big date with Scott. Go on. I, I don't want to keep you. Have fun at the Chandler's. Janet, I'm not going to be missing anything at Snob Central, okay? I guarantee you. We always have a blast here with Scott. Go on. Not with you like this. I'm going to... Just go back to my room and and rest. I'm just tired. That's all. Do, do you promise that that you'll do that? I'll be fine. You look terrific. Say hi to Scott for me, okay? Sweetheart, when you really love somebody, you do anything to make them happy. And sometimes you don't even tell them stuff that's going to hurt them. That's what you do. And not telling them hurts them sometimes, too. Yeah. Yeah, but sweetheart, I would never do anything to hurt you. Did mommy? Laurel? Oh, no. No, your mommy loved you so much, she'd never do anything to hurt you. But she said she was my mommy. And she'd be my mommy forever. Laurel couldn't help what happened, sweetheart. You know that. I miss her. Yeah, me too, sweetheart. But Laurel's up there with Natalie, and she's looking down on us, and I'm sure... She's real glad that Janet's here, too. Mommy wouldn't want a bad lady near me. Oh, sweetheart, you, you are so lucky. With Laurel, you got the best guardian angel a little girl could ever have. And you have a mommy here on Earth, and a, a mommy that loves you, too. Janet has loved you ever since... You became you. And it must have been meant to be because you two hit it off right from the get-go. At daycare? Right. And then when she found you in the well, did she leave you alone and scared to go off someplace warm to look for help? No, she went right down that rope, right into that well. She wrapped her coat around you to keep you warm, and she gave you that candy bar. She did everything she possibly could to save you. Sweetheart, Janet didn't care about her own life. The most important thing to her, her was that she loved you and she wanted you safe. But Janet still did some bad, bad things. Yeah? Yeah, she has. You and Mommy never did things like that, did you? No, I think it's a good a time. I think you need to get some s sleep, sweetheart, okay? I mean, I'm going to go out in the hall. You, you close your eyes now and I'll be right in, okay? Janet's never going to go away, is she? I think she wants to stay by you. Forever? I think she loves you. She loves you very much. Hey. Hey. Look, 
afraid of things. Jenna, how's Jenna? She's, um, she's pretty bad. Hey, hey. Um, you're, you're gonna go in and talk to her, right? Maybe I should go. No, no, no. We'll, we'll go and talk to her first. Um, why don't you go along with Scott? Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Right. Good. Take sure. care of her, pal. Okay? Sure. This is a trap. Maybe I should go and uh, look in on her alone first, huh? Good idea. She's walking around the hospital or something. No, her coat's gone. Everything. She's not fit to be leaving the hospital. That little girl has been through more in the last couple of days than most people go through in a lifetime. Yeah, makes you wonder who's pulling the strings. Sometimes I just wish I could lock her up and keep her safe from the world. Jenna would probably like to hide from the world forever, too. Did you track her down? Well, I made some calls to some places I figured she might be, but uh, no luck. Amanda's not going to lose another mother. Well, it won't be long before you'll be hey. coming here for spring vacation, honey. Yeah. Okay, I love you too, baby. Bye-bye. I called some friends out near Willow Lake. She's not there, the cabin is dark and boarded up, but she may well turn up there later. It's not the cabin. I think I know where she is. Hey, well, let me go with you. No, it might be just a wild goose taste. You stay here in case Janet shows up. You know, anything's possible. We Janet? Janet? <laughs> 